have been a lot of stories that have carried through in 2021 for better and for worse. But one of the biggest by far was the ongoing saga between Kim Kardashian and Kanye West. Their marriage had been tumultuous almost from day one, and yet somehow they went on for seven years. But despite those years, it was anything but stable. And even they were trying to convince folks that they were fine, we all knew they weren't. We all knew that it was just a matter of time before everything fell apart, and we were right. So allow us to show you Kim Kardashian and Kanye West divorce six times we knew it would happen. Be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Number six, they got married. Yes, we acknowledge that this sounds very callous, but if there's one thing that celebrity life has taught us as a whole, is that sometimes you look at a couple and think, oh, they're perfect for each other, as well as looking at a couple and saying, yeah, that won't last. And whether their supporters want to admit it or not, Kim Kardashian and Kanye West were a ticking time bomb of a couple from the moment they got together as an official couple. Let's take a look at the first bride as proof of this. At that point in time, Kim Kardashian was at the height of her fame and infamy in regards to her socialite status and how she had built herself and her family up from D-list celebrities to one of the most talked about families in the world. It was her tape that got them their reality TV show, and many agreed that she reached the peak of her power based on what she had. And that was a pretty tall peak. But what matters here was that during that run, she married an NBA player named Chris Humphreys and even had him on the reality show to help showcase their relationship. But then, after 72 days of marriage, she divorced him for reasons that are still not fully clear. And not long after she went and divorced him, she hooked up with Kanye. In an interview around the time of her coupling, she even admitted that she should have been with Kanye the whole time, and even talked about how they had a connection before she married Chris, and then it played out like it did because they were still drawn to each other. In other words, she knew she wasn't going to reach new heights with Chris as her husband, he wasn't an all-star in the NBA, and he left the league not long after the divorce from Kim, but with Kanye. Yeah, there was serious potential there for something bigger. As for Kanye, he was a whole other problem, mainly because by that point in time he hadn't gone full Kanye yet, but he was close. This was after his VMAs incident with Taylor Swift, as well as other stunts with his music that led many to think he was delusional in his own way. So you have a socialite trying to get even more fame, and a music master who is dealing with reality problems, and they're supposed to go and have a successful marriage without any bumps? Yeah, no. Number 5. Kanye's Bipolar Disorder If that last entry felt a bit too mean for you, we'll jump now onto something that no one can deny was a major reason for their separation, Kanye's medical condition. You see, for years, even when he was just famous for making music, many people felt that there was just something off about Kanye West. But he kept it together long enough to become one of the biggest voices in the rap world at the time. Even after his VMA incident, he came back stronger than ever with his song Power, which is still one of the most played and used songs in terms of using it for movies and games and such out there. But eventually, he revealed that he had been diagnosed with bipolar disorder which in and of itself is not a deal breaker with a marriage, so long as both sides understand what needs to be done to control it and withstand the events that'll happen. Kim was arguably okay with her role in what was to come, but Kanye, not so much, because Kanye West decided that it wasn't fair to him to have to take medicine to try and control the mental swings that bipolar disorder is known to have on people. As such, Kanye slowly became more and more unstable, and when you have a person who is unstable in a relationship, not something that can last, especially when there is more than one person having to deal with that issue. Number 4. Kim and the Kids Not surprisingly, Kim and Kanye had very different views on what it meant to have a nice family. Kanye wanted to be a bit old school and have a plethora of kids, to the extent that these large number of kids ranging from 7 to 8, according to him, would be the ultimate legacy. But Kim, thinking more wisely because she had to actually give birth to these children, felt that three to four were fine, and they did indeed have four kids, though the final two were done through surrogates, to be clear. Having four kids is perfectly fine, so long as both parents are mentally there. But while Kim surprisingly was known to be a good mother, Kanye was, well, difficult at times because of his mental disorder. For example, his oldest daughter in North was apparently banned from wearing pink on Kanye's orders, which is an interesting choice. In more recent times, Kanye felt it would be more prevalent for his kids' upbringing for them all to go and be moved to Wyoming, where he bought a large ranch so that they could live in peace and not in a fake city like Los Angeles. 
Cam wasn't a fan of that as she was born and raised in LA. As if that wasn't enough, he also suggested living in a desert compound outside of LA, and that doesn't seem that much better. When the divorce rumors popped up, many cited sources who said that when it came to the divorce, the children were the number one reason why Kim wanted to split up because she was afraid of how Kanye was going to try and raise them. To be honest, many outside of that relationship likely thought that too. Number 3. Family Squabbles when Kim married Kanye, one of the biggest supporters of this was Kim's family and the Kardashians. Not surprisingly, given the fact that they would benefit from Kanye's influence. And indeed, when their reality show started to fall in the ratings, Kanye brought in not just himself, but his production crew to help revitalize the series, and the ratings did pick up for a time, and the Kardashians were all grateful for a time. But when Kanye started to unravel mentally and he started to call out the family, their show and more, you could tell that things weren't going to end well. So much so that when the divorce started to materialize, the family was said to have had no issues with this at all and couldn't wait for Kanye to be gone. When you have that particular family against you, yeah, your relationship within the family will be terminated soon. Number two, the rants. We mentioned earlier about Kanye's bipolar disorder before as a major reason for the divorce, but that only scratches the surface of the tension that brought to the marriage. You see, due to Kanye's lack of medication, he felt the need to go and do and say anything that came to his mind, and that caused a lot of problems, such as when he chewed out Drake online after the famous singer and former friend of Kanye went and asked for permission to use a song they did together for a remix. As a result, Kanye went onto Twitter and tore into him for three hours straight and said that Drake had threatened his family and more. This was just one rant that he did, and every single time Kim would come out and defend her husband. That could not have been easy, and each rant drove her closer to divorce in the eyes of many. Number 1. The 2020 Campaign Without a doubt, the biggest and most definitive reason for their divorce was Kanye's attempt at running for president in 2020. Just him doing it was insane, but what he did during it made Kim and her family livid. Because not only did he go and say racist comments, he revealed family secrets that no one was supposed to hear, such as how Kim and him almost had an abortion on their daughter North. Kanye also accused Kris Jenner of trying to keep his kids away from him, which Kim and Kris vehemently denied. Kim did not openly support Kanye during his run, and many said that was indeed the final straw in their relationship. A few months after the 2020 election, the divorce rumors started. So what do you think? What do you think of this look at Kim Kardashian and Kanye West and how they were almost destined to go and fail as a marriage? Do you agree with some of these points that many saw as proof that they would divorce? Were you surprised that things lasted this long between them? Let us know in the comments below, be sure to subscribe, and we will see you next time on the channel.